Eggheads in half an hour and three grand says the toast makers can't beat them. First, though, quiz hour begins with two tribes. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Two Tribes, the quiz where you never know whose side you're going to be on. We've got seven brand new contestants all waiting to play. Let's meet them. Hi, I'm Diane. I'm a finance manager from Edinburgh. Hi, I'm Elias. I'm a teacher of business and economics, and I'm from Hertfordshire. Hi, I'm Bob. I'm a technical engineer, and I'm from Middlesex. Hello, I'm Carol. I come from Tabworth in Surrey, and I'm a retired supermarket worker. Hi, I'm Kerry. I'm an English student from Tamworth. Hi, I'm Anna, and I'm an insurance team leader from Norwich. Hi, I'm Louis. I'm a pub singer from Middlesbrough. <laughs> Welcome, all seven of you. Now, before the show, you all completed our in-depth survey, answering hundreds of questions all about yourselves. Uh, there they are up there, a few of them going through. In every round, we're going to split you into two tries, based on who said yes and who said no to some of those. Then each try will face a series of general knowledge questions. All you need to do is make sure you're on the winning tribe. At the end of the show, one of you could be walking away with today's jackpot of £2,000. So good luck to you all. Let's find our first two tribes. Before the show, we asked you the following. Oh, goodness. I have sunbathed nude. Louis, I do not want to know. <laughs> Let's see who said yes and who said no to that. Our yes tribe is Diane, Elias, Kerry, and of course, Louis. <laughs> of course. <laughs> that means our no tribe is Bob, Carol, and Anna. Everybody, join your tribes. <laughs> so, yes tribe, it's a, it's a very personal way to start the show, isn't it? I am sorry. Diane, you sunbathed nude in the, in the privacy of your own house or in public? It wasn't so much sunbathing as skinny dipping. It was when I was 18 and I was camping on the idyllic Scottish island of Iona and there was nobody about, so I just did a Reggie pairing down the beach. That is brave. And Louis, a regular nudist? No, not really, Richard. Believe me, there, was, there wasn't much to see. I would say it's, I'm glad you covered up today, but looking at that waistcoat, I'm not so sure, <laughs> Louis. I'm not so sure. Now, our no tribe. This is more like it. Carol, not for you. Good God, no. <laughs> I think that's all we need to hear from you, Carol. Uh, and Anna, not for you? Not for me, no. Never? Never. I burn very easily, so... Now, we will start with our Yes Tribe. I'm going to give you 60 seconds' worth of questions. If you get one wrong, I'll pass it down the line. If you all get the same question wrong, your time will end immediately. Your job here is to make sure your tribe is the winning tribe. If you are the winning tribe, you'll go safely through to the next round, OK? Someone on the losing tribe will be leaving us. Start the clock. Diane, in 1986, Krista Burr had a number one hit about the lady in which colour? Red. Correct. Elias, the sparkling wine Prosecco is produced in the northeast of which European country? France. Incorrect. Kerry. Germany. Incorrect. Louis. Italy. Correct. Diane, Dancing with the Stars is the US version of which BBC TV show? Strictly Come Dancing. Correct. Elias, the Parthenon sculptures are commonly referred to as the Elgin what? Marbles. Correct. Kerry, what type of hands does Edward have according to the title of a 1990 film by Tim Burton? Scissor. Scissor hands. Correct. Louis, in the nursery rhyme, who did Simple Simon meet going to the fair? Simon. Correct. Diane, Santa Monica, Santa Barbara and Santa Maria are all cities in which US state? California. Correct. Elias, in 2010, the cast of Glee reached number two in the UK singles chart with a cover of which song? Pass. Don't, Kerry. Don't stop. Uh, Louis. Don't stop believing. Correct. Diane, in the international Morse code, what letter is represented by three dots? S. Correct. Elias, in 1997, Arundhati Roy won the Booker Prize. It was for the god of small things. Uh, at the end of that round, our nudists, our Yes Tribe, nine points. <laughs> nine points. No Tribe, ten points would see you safely into the next round. OK, Bob, Carol and Anna, I wish you all the very best of luck. Start the clock. Bob, how many eyes are there in the word Philippines? Five. Incorrect. Carol. Three. Correct. Anna, which parts of the human body are informally referred to as one's pins? Legs. Correct. Bob, the cello belongs to which section of the modern symphony orchestra? String. Correct. Carol, up until its final episode in 2012, who hosted the quiz show The Weakest Link? 
Anne Robinson. Correct. Anna, in which decade of the 20th century did Concorde begin regular commercial flights? Uh, 40s. Incorrect. Bob? 50s. Incorrect. Carol, to save your tribe? 70s. Correct. Anna, which South American country is the world's largest producer of sugar? Uh, Peru. Incorrect. Bob? Argentina. Incorrect. Carol, to save your tribe? Jamaica. Oh, it's not the South American country we're looking for was Brazil. And at the end of that round, no tribe, you've scored five, which means our winners of this round, it's the Yes Tribe. Please take your places in the centre. <laughs> it's going well there for a while, no tribe, but you are on the wrong tribe at the wrong time and one of you will be leaving us. I'm going to ask you some questions now. If you buzz in and get one right, you'll be safely through to the next round. Buzz in and get it wrong. You'll be leaving us immediately. Very best of luck to all three of you. Here's your first question. Which stage musical features the songs All That Jazz and Cell Block <laughs> Carol? Chicago. And Cell Block Tango. Chicago is the right answer. Carol, you're in the next round. <laughs> Bob, Anna, one of you is about to leave us. Very best of luck to you both. Fingers on buzzers. The name of which large bird is used as the nickname for the USA's National Rugby Union team? Anna. Emu. It's not Emu, I'm afraid it's Eagle, and that means Bob. You're through to the next round. <laughs> Anna, very brave, very brave to buzz in there, but uh, not a right answer, I'm afraid. Uh, have you enjoyed yourself with yes, us? Yes, I've had a lovely day, thank you. So sorry to lose you so soon. But for our other six players, it's time to find our next two tribes. <laughs> Congratulations to the six of you. We're going to find some new tribes now. Before the show, we ask you the following. I'm multilingual. I'm always impressed by people who can speak languages. I certainly can't. Oh, well, English, I, I dabble in. Our yes tribe is Elias, Kerry and Louis. Our no tribe, Diane, Bob and Carol. Everybody, join your tribes. So, yes, tribe. Elias, multilingual. What other languages do you speak? Uh, well, I'm, my parents are Greek Cypriot, so I can speak Greek. OK, that's sort of cheating a bit, isn't it? But it's still, it's still, it's still more than I can do. Kerry? I can get by enough to order food at restaurants and have brief travelling conversations with people, but that's about as much. But it's Spanish and German and French. C'est très bien, oui? Si. <laughs> Bueno, bueno. Multilingual. Si, 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 si. No tribe, nothing to ask you. I know, I know who you are. You're like me. You speak no other language apart from English. It's impossible, isn't it? We'll start with our no tribe, our English speakers. 60 seconds worth of questions. If you get one wrong, I'll pass it down the line. If all three of you get the same question wrong, your time will end immediately. Uh, of course, the tribe with the most points at the end of this round will be safely through to the next round. Uh, and the tribe with the fewest points will be losing one of you. No tribe, we'll start with you. Start the clock. Diane, at the beginning of a game of chess, how many queens are on the board? Two. Correct. Bob, driver, iron and putter are all types of what piece of sporting equipment? Golf club. They are. Carol, who is the well-known sister of Australian singer Kylie Minogue? Danny Minogue. Correct. Diane, which frothy Italian coffee drink takes its name from an order of Franciscan friars? Macchiato. Incorrect. Bob. Latte. Incorrect. Carol, to save your tribe. I don't know the question. Which frothy Italian coffee drink takes its name from an order of Franciscan friars? Oh, cappuccino. Correct. Diane, Mont Blanc is the highest peak in which European mountain range? The Alps. It is. Bob, in the 1982 Steven Spielberg film, what do the letters ET stand for? Extraterrestrial. Correct. Carol, which senior UK cabinet position has been held by Theresa May, Jackie Smith and David Blunkett? Home Secretary. Correct. Diane, which chemical element has the symbol KR? Krypton. Correct. Bob, the Spanish word Diablo literally translates as what in English? Devil. Correct. Carol, entomology is defined primarily as the study Moss. of which class of invertebrates? The answer was insects. And no tribe, including a Spanish translation question, you scored nine points. <laughs> OK, yes, tribe. Ten points. We'll see you into the next round. A terrific performance there from the no tribe. Good luck to you all. Start the clock. Elias, St. Patrick's Day is celebrated on the 17th of which month? March. Correct. Kerry, the gavel used by judges and auctioneers is a small ceremonial version of which tool? Hammer. Correct. Louis, audiology is the scientific study of which of the five senses? Hearing. It is. Elias, in snooker of the six balls known as the colours, which is worth the least points? Yellow. Correct. Kerry, in Greek mythology, what was the name of the gorgon with snakes in place of hair who was killed by Perseus? 
Medusa. Correct, Louis. Always keep the faith and living on a prayer were UK hits for which American rock band? Bon Jovi. Correct. Elias, Ernest Hemingway's A Farewell to Arms is predominantly set during which war? Spanish Civil War. Incorrect. Kerry. Pass. Louis, to save your tribe. First World War. Correct. Elias, the coastal town of Broadstairs is in which English county? Kent. Correct. Kerry, Nicholas Cage is the nephew of which Oscar-winning film director? Steven Spielberg. Incorrect. Louis. Francis Ford Coppola. Correct. Elias, to win, in which decade of the 20th century was the National Minimum Wage Act passed in the UK? 80. Ooh, it was the 1990s. And yes, Tribe, you also scored nine points. We have a tie. In a tie break, this is what happens. Both teams must nominate a champion. Whoever you nominate will go up against each other in one question on the buzzer. Yes, Tribe? Okay. Have you been nominated, Louis? Looks like it. <laughs> <laughs> no Tribe. Who's going up against Louis? Carol. Carol v. Louis. One question on the buzzer. If you get it right, your entire Tribe is through to the next round. Good luck, Louis. Good luck, Carol. The first four books of the New Testament, that is Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, are known collect. Carol. The four Gospels. Are known collectively as what? The four Gospels. Carol, that's the correct answer. No tribe. You're safely through to the next round. <laughs> Not a lot you could have done there, Louis. Very fast on the buzzer. I'm sure you knew it. And it means one of you is going to have to leave us. Is it going to be Elias, Kerry or Louis? Fingers on buzzers, please. I'm going to ask you a series of questions. If you get one right, you are through to the next round. Get one wrong, however, you'll be leaving us immediately. Very best of luck to all three of you. In the human body, which pair of bean-shaped organs are responsible? <laughs> Kerry. Kidneys. For filtering waste products from the blood. Kidneys is the correct answer. Kerry, you are through to the next round. <laughs> Elias and Louis. Fingers on buzzers, please. Since 2009, the ATP World Tour Finals tennis event has been held at which London? <laughs> Elias. Millennium Dome. Or the O2 Arena. You just about got there, Elias. It is the O2. I've been held at which London venue? The O2 is right. Elias, by the skin of your teeth, you're through to the next round. <laughs> Louis, it's such a Hello. pleasure getting to know you. Have you enjoyed yourself with us? It's been absolutely brilliant, thank you. It's been a pleasure getting to know you. But for the other five, it's time to find two brand new tribes. <laughs> Congratulations to the five of you. Particular congratulations to the one person who got all of their questions right in the last round. Unfortunately, that was Louis, and he's just left. <laughs> but, uh, there you go. That's the game. We're going to split you into two new tribes now. Before the show, we asked you the following. I'm a bad loser. I am a bad loser. Our yes tribe is Diane and Carol, which means our no tribe is Elias, Bob, Kerry, everybody join your tribe. <laughs> so, yes, tribe, Diane and Carol, bad losers. Diane, we haven't seen you lose yet. What are we going to witness if you do? <laughs> I am... It's not so much that I'm a bad loser. It's just that if I know I'm right about something, I really have to prove it. OK, no, that, <laughs> that is a bad loser. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On no tribe. Bob, you don't mind a valiant defeat. I tend to lose quite often, so I've kind of become immune to it now. Harry, you're the same? I try to behave a little bit like a lady sometimes when I lose, but okay. I try not to lose. <laughs> uh, we will start with our no tribe, because they don't mind what happens. 60 seconds worth of questions. If you get one wrong, we'll pass it down the line. If all of you get the same question wrong, your time will end immediately. The tribe that wins this will be straight through to our final four. Try and make sure that's your tribe. Start the clock. Elias, how many O's are there in the word zoology? Four. Incorrect. Bob? Five. Incorrect. Kerry, to save your tribe. Three. There are three. Elias, before the adoption of the euro, what was the main unit of currency of France? Frank. Correct. Bob, the term steed usually refers to which animal? Horse. Correct. Kerry, which best-selling author is the sister of actress Dame Joan Collins? Pass. Elias. Becky Collins. She is. Bob, which boy band had their first UK number one in 2011 with What Makes You Beautiful? One Direction. Correct. Kerry, garbanzo bean is an alternative name for which food commonly used to make hummus? Chickpea. Correct. Elias, LeBron James is an athlete known for playing which American sport? American football. Incorrect. Bob. Basketball. Correct. Kerry, which English monarch was the last ruling member of the Tudor dynasty? 
Henry VIII. Incorrect. Elias. Is the first. Correct. Bob. First airing in 1985, Thank You For Being A Friend was a theme tune to which American sitcom? Cheers. Incorrect. <laughs> Kerry. The answer to that was The Golden Girls, but at the end of that round, No Tribe, you scored eight points. Eight points, not a bad score. Yes, Tribe, nine points. Nine points will see you safely through to our final four. Start the clock. Diane, the word seven has how many letters? Five. It does. Carol, the Hollywood film star born William Pitt in 1963 is better known by what first name? Brad Pitt. Correct. Diane, which meat is traditionally used in a stroganoff? Beef. Correct. Carol, Buenos Aires is the capital of which South American country? Argentina. It is. Diane, the Battle of Hastings was fought in which year? 1066. Correct. Carol, centred around the adventures of a blue locomotive, which children's TV series takes place on the island of Sodor? Thomas the Tank Engine. Correct. Diane, what is the first name of the son of Ozzy and Sharon Osborne? Jack. Correct. Carol, situated on the island of Sicily, what is the name of the highest active volcano in Europe? Etna. Correct. To win. Diane, what was the first name of the Swedish scientist who created the annual awards known as the Nobel Prizes? Victor. Incorrect. Carol. Albert. Oh, it's Alfred. Oh. Oh. It is Alfred. That's so close. We have ourselves another... Oh, right, you three. We have ourselves another tie, as you can see by the high fives. Yes, Drive, you need to nominate a champion. Who are you going to nominate? Yes, We're going to stick with Carol, because she was good last time. Carol did well last time. And no Tribe? Elias. I'm Elias. Go. Carol versus Elias. One question on the buzzer. Get it right. Your entire Tribe is through to the final four. Very best of luck. Leonard, Sheldon, Penny and Howard are all major characters in which US TV sitcom? Elias. Big Bang Theory. Is the correct answer, as Kerry knows well. No tribe, you're safely through. Uh, Diane and Carol, you're both bad losers, but one of you is about to have to go through that pain, I'm afraid. One question on the buzzer. One of you will be through to our final four. One of you will be leaving us. Fingers on buzzers. Named after Sir Thomas Cullinan, what type of precious stone was found in... Diane. Diamond. What type of precious stone was found in 1905, the largest of its kind to be discovered? The answer, Diane, is diamond. You're through to our final four. <laughs> Carol. Carol, you're, I'm so sorry. You look like quite a good loser. <laughs> I'm so sorry, it's been lovely getting to know you. But for our final four, time to find our next two tribes. <laughs> so, our final four. This is where things change a little. It's going to be two against two, and at the end of this round, two of you will be going to play in our final. The other two will be going home straight away. No more second chances, I'm afraid. Let's see how we're going to split you up. Before the show, we asked you the following. I'd rather shop on the high street than online. Our yes tribe are Elias and Kerry. It means our no tribe are Diane and Bob. Everybody join your tribes. <laughs> so I'd rather shop on the high street than online. Uh, Diane, what's the best thing about shopping online? The fact that you can search for anything, anything that you need, anything you desire, and they deliver it to your house. I know, right? <laughs> But the Yes Tribe, this is good. You support your local high street, Elias. Uh, yes, I do. Hitchin, very nice market town. Come and visit. Lovely Hitchin. I do, I've visited many, many times. Now, 2v2. This round is all on the buzzers. The first tribe to answer five questions correctly will be going through to play in today's final. And then, of course, one of you will be playing for that £2,000 jackpot. Our losing tribe this time will be going home immediately. So very, very best of luck. Fingers on buzzers. Here's your first question. An obvious problem that nobody wants to talk about is often referred to... Kerry. Elephant in the room. <laughs> it's often referred to as which animal in the room? Elephant is the right answer. Well done, Kerry. That's a very early buzz. Which Greek mathematician lends his name to a theory used for cal... Elias. Pythagoras. <laughs> which Greek mathematician lends his name to a theory used for calculating the lengths of the sides of right-angled triangles? It is Pythagoras. 2-0 to the Yes Tribe. A 2014 TV series starring Billy Bob Thornton and Martin Freeman shares its name with which Coen Brothers? Bob. Fargo. With which Coen Brothers film Fargo is the correct answer? Well played, Bob. Known for singles such as Born to Die and video games, which US singer? K. 
Kerry. Lana Del Rey. Was born Elizabeth Woolridge Grant. Lana Del Rey is the correct answer. Kerry, 3-1 to the Yes tribe. Derived from the Spanish word for bleeding, which drink typically consists of red wine mixed with lemonade... Diane. Sangria. With lemonade, fruit and spices, sangria is the correct answer. Yes tribe, three. No tribe, two. First to five will qualify for the final. Which veteran British entertainer began his stage career in the 1940s using the... <laughs> Kerry. Bruce Forsyth. Which veteran British entertainer began his stage career in the 1940s using the name... Boy Bruce, the mighty atom, <laughs> it was Sir Bruce Forsyth. <laughs> that was a dabby one. That was a dabby one. No tribe, two points. Yes tribe, four points. Five points sees you into the final. You are one correct answer away from playing in today's final. No tribe, you need to come back right now. Which two-digit number is represented by the Roman numerals XCIX? <laughs> Kerry. 20. Oh, 200... 2014! 2014 is the wrong answer. <laughs> no try. 99? XCIX is 99. Well played, no try. Well played. Fingers on buzzers. Located southwest of Cornwall, St Mary's is the largest of which group of islands? <laughs> Diane. Silly Isles? Is the correct answer, oh. Diane. Yes, tribe. You have four. No tribe, you have four. It's all down to one question. Best of luck to all four of you. Who won the men's 200 and 400 metre gold medals at the 1996 Olympics? Elias. Michael Johnson. Is the correct answer. Yeah. Is the correct <laughs> answer. <laughs> Diane and Bob, you made quite a fight of that. Sorry to see you go home, but a terrific battle there. Uh, Elias and Kerry, you're about to play the Two Tribes oh. final. Yay. Hey. <laughs> Elias and Kerry, congratulations, making it through to the final. Only one of you is going through to play for that £2,000 jackpot. Who is it going to be? We split you into your own tribes. This time it's Elias versus Kerry. You also have your very own 45 seconds on the clock. All you have to do is protect that 45 seconds at all costs. The first question and only the first question will be on the buzzer. If you get it right, your opponent's clock will start ticking down. It'll keep ticking down until they get a question right. Then your clock will start ticking down. Your challenge is to force your opponent's clock all the way down to zero. And if you do that, you will have the chance to win today's £2,000 jackpot. OK, Elias, Kerry, let's play two tribes. <laughs> so, that's this first question on the buzzer. Tony Bennett released the 2014 album Cheek to Cheek in collaboration with which flamboyant singer? <laughs> Elias. Lady Gaga. Is the correct answer. That means as soon as I start the next question, Kerry, your clock will start ticking down. Kerry, in which ocean are the Cook Islands located? Pacific. Correct. Elias, known as coming of age in North America, which birthday is usually described as sweet? 16. Correct. Kerry, which British track cyclist won his sixth gold medal at the 2012 Olympics? <sighs> Pass. This is Chris Hoy. Mm. Kerry, scarab, goliath and stag are all varieties of which insect? Beetle. They are. Elias, HMS Pinafore and the Pirates of Penzance are well-known operators by which duo? Pass. Gilbert and Sullivan. Elias. Alice Walker's Pulitzer Prize winning 1982 novel is called The Colour What? Purple. Correct. Kerry. Yeast and mushrooms are both examples of which type of organism? <sighs> Bacteria. It's fungus. Kerry. On the periodic table, which chemical element is represented by the letter ZN? Zinc. Correct. Elias. Which variety of long grain rice, often served with curries, takes but its Marty. name from a. Correct. Kerry. With hits including Kiss from a Rose, which singer shares his name with an aquatic Seal. mammal? Correct. Elias, first broadcast in 1950, which BBC radio soap is set in the fictional Archive. rural of... Correct. Kerry, Mario Testino is famous for working in which field of the arts? Pass. Photography. Mm. Kerry, Warsaw is the capital city of which country? Uh, Austria. It's mm. Poland. Kerry, philately is the collection and study of what? Rocks. It's postage stamps. <laughs> Kerry, our winner today, it's Elias. Kerry, you are making quite a fight of it there, then just a, a string of wrong answers at the end. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Have you enjoyed yourself with us? It's been fabulous, thank you. Well, congratulations on getting through to the final. But for Elias, he is today's winner. Let's play for today's jackpot. <laughs>
<laughs> Elias, congratulations. So what, you and Kerry formed such a great team all the way through. Do you feel a little bit guilty for knocking her out? Uh, not really, no. no I didn't, that. You know what? I didn't think you did. <laughs> now, Elias, you are today's winner. Now you have the opportunity to win some money. No one won the jackpot last time, so it currently stands at £2,000. One question, £2,000. Are you ready to play? Ready. OK, the first thing I need you to do is choose between these two categories. Your final question, is it going to be about UK politics or is it going to be about horse racing? I know nothing about horse racing, so I will go for UK politics. UK politics? OK, let's see. I've been Chancellor of the Exchequer. Yes, no. Those are your two tribes. I'm now going to show you four answers. They are... Tony Blair, Margaret Thatcher, Winston Churchill, Gordon Brown. OK, there's right. four answers. What you need to do is put all four of those into the correct tribe. If you put all four of those answers into their correct tribe, you will walk away with £2,000. Right. OK, four answers, two tribes. Are you ready to play? Yeah. Let's go. Right, with three of them, I'm pretty sure about. Tony okay. Blair's a no. So you think Tony Blair is a no? Should we just put yeah. him across to no uh, to start with? He's Don't forget, it could be 4-0, could be 3-1, could be 2-2. Two, two. Margaret Thatcher, she'd be a no. So you think a no as well? Uh, let's put her there for now. Gordon Brown certainly was. So, so Gordon Brown, yes. you're going to put yes. So that leaves Churchill. Churchill. Now, he was around for a long time. £2,000, you've got to get all four of them in their correct tribes. Just one wrong and you will leave with nothing. This round is awful. There's always a couple. There's always a couple of obvious ones. And then we'll I'll, get to I'll the bottom. I'll go no, I think. You're going to say no for Churchill. Yeah. In the yes tribe, you've got Gordon Brown. In the no tribe, you've got Blair, Thatcher and Churchill. Are you happy with that? Yeah. Should we lock it in? Lock it in. OK, lock it in. Good luck, Elias. You've got to get all four of these right. And if you do, you'll be walking away with £2,000. <whistles> OK, I've been the Chancellor of the Exchequer. Tony Blair was your first answer, and you put him in the No Tribe. Tony Blair, are you in the No Tribe? <laughs> it was indeed. It was indeed, Elias. Good start. <laughs> then you moved on to Margaret Thatcher. You also put her in the No Tribe. I've been Chancellor of the Exchequer. You said Margaret Thatcher is in the No Tribe. <laughs> are you right? Of course you are. Of course you are. <laughs> Halfway there. Halfway there, Elias. OK, the next one you went for, I think you're pretty sure about this one as well. Gordon yeah. Brown, you said. He was a Chancellor. I've been Chancellor of the Exchequer. You put Gordon Brown in the Yes Tribe. Were you right? You were indeed. Of course you are. 1997 to 2007, Elias. Now, <laughs> now, here we are again. The final answer, the one you're least sure of, I think, Winston Churchill, for £2,000. I've been Chancellor of the Exchequer. You put Winston Churchill in the No Tribe. Are you right? Oh, Elias. 1924 to 1929, Winston Churchill was the Chancellor. Let's uh, show the correct two tribes. You got three out of four, but three oh. out of four is not enough. You've got to get all four. Oh, shame. Such good news that you're a good loser. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> so sorry, Elias, you've been terrific all the way through, but you didn't win today's jackpot. That will now roll over onto the next show. Join us then, where seven brand new contestants will be playing for a jackpot of £3,000. We'll see you then on Two Tribes. <laughs> Next on BBC Two, a team of Toastmasters would like to drink to victory against the Eggheads. We'll see in a moment. But how about a new life in the Cayman Islands? Weigh up the pros and cons in our new series, Wanted in Paradise at Seven. MasterChef is big and bold. Sweet, sour, salty and hot. Back again, or so I'm told. Make it fiery. Be bold. Mix up. One, two. Chop, chop. Three, four. Can contestants do enough? Your fondant potato is buttery and soft. The competition is mighty tough. Oh, ooh, good lad. Any reason why you're shaking like that? Because I'm terrified. Let battle commence. 
MasterChef, coming soon to BBC One. Hi. Hi. I'm Ben. I'm Katie. You're gorgeous. You're amazing. I think I love you. I love you too. Let's move in together. Let's get married. Let's have kids. Two. Three. Four. I'm so glad we met. Oh, me too. Actually... It's not you, it's me. I just need some space. You're stifling me. I want a divorce. Talk to my lawyer. I'm keeping the CDs. In your dreams. You don't have to do things all in one go. Instead of renewing your TV licence once a year, you can pay weekly, monthly or quarterly. Visit tvlicensing.co.uk How did we become so addicted to oil in little more than one human lifetime? At what point did planet Earth become planet oil? Planet Oil concludes tonight at 9, followed by the big oil debate at 10.30, all on BBC Two Scotland.